Hey man, this is Byron Pitts from Nightline. How are you doing? I'm good, brother. It's been just a few hours now since Danny Smiley got the news he'd been dreading. His job of 17 years, gone. Just found out today I was let go, no severance package, uh, insurance benefits end at the end of the month. Definitely hit home in a hurry. In the blink of an eye, the Army veteran and father of two, an athletic trainer in Kansas, now one of too many Americans left staring down an uncertain road. And I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. We just don't know. I think it's not knowing is what the problem is. People are going to end up losing their homes, and, you know, we don't know if we might end up being one of them. The repercussions of COVID-19 twofold. The devastating number of deaths climbing every day. In the U.S. alone, claiming at least 700 lives, with more than 51,000 diagnosed cases. But it's also upending lives in another way, hitting the lifeblood of this country, the economy. Congress debating a sweeping $2 trillion stimulus package tonight. Pass the damn bill. Stop negotiating. Economic concerns were at the forefront of the president's mind, eager for this shutdown to end in just weeks, not months. It's a very special day. Easter is our timeline. What a great timeline that would be. Health and state officials have repeatedly cautioned against prematurely ending social distancing measures. You can't sacrifice human life to get the stock market up. I don't, that is a repugnant concept. It could be months before businesses open back up. Meanwhile, unemployment numbers are at unprecedented levels. Morgan Stanley predicts that in just the last week, we've seen nearly three and a half million Americans file for unemployment insurance. That would be nearly five times the record high set ever in one week. My name is Melanie Martinez. I am 29 years old. I am from Houston, Texas. Melanie Martinez, a single mom in Texas, is still coming to terms with losing her job as an assistant restaurant manager. Now, you worked at this company for five years. You're a manager there. Uh, did you see this coming? I felt safe in my job, and then the next day, literally, was let go. And so now, how are you feeling? I feel really hurt because it's a company that I was with for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I've spent a lot of time there with my employees. We called them Tribe, you know, and it was like, we were like a family unit. On top of that, like many Americans, Melanie is at home recovering from symptoms her doctor <laughs> believes may be COVID-19. I think that one of the things that is getting me to me the most is that I am alone in this apartment. And missing her daughter, six-year-old Coral, now staying with her father. I feel totally alone. I would give anything for my daughter to be here right now and to just have her hug me. <laughs> what are you most worried about right now? What's most difficult for you right now? Paying my bills. That's what I'm most worried about right now. I have rent to pay, and I am the only income for my household. You know, it's me and my daughter. It's only up to me to provide for my home. If I may ask, how much longer can you go? How much longer can you sustain those things? For this month? I don't know. I'm not sure after this month. Across the country, at least 24 states have now closed all non-essential businesses, asking people to stay at home, policies affecting millions, including here in Wisconsin. Where Ryan Hoban of Pill Crow Coffee was busy growing his small business. The market was kind of resp responding pretty well to us. We were building out an another cafe. Seeing the writing on the wall, this father of three closed one of his locations and made the difficult decision to lay off most of his staff early. We felt like it was our responsibility to allow them to get in unemployment uh, sooner than later. I feel a little bit lost on what the right solution is, and I think our government is lost too. So. I think right now, more than ever, you need to support your spot because they're in the fight of their lives. The stimulus bill's provision would help small businesses like Ryan's, but also extend unemployment benefits to the self-employed. A lot of self-employed individuals, they can only provide their services or products if they have human contact, um, specifically um, like a personal trainer or a realtor. Alabama financial consultant Jafrida Brown is hearing these concerns day after day from her self-employed clients. To completely have 100 percent 
um, everything 100% remote right now. It's a big change. Jafrida herself, self-employed, says she can weather this storm for a few more months. But for veteran Danny Smiley, he has no time to wait. He needs Congress to act now. You've served your country before? Yes. Do you think your country is serving you now? <sighs> that's, a, that's a tough question. Uh, it's extremely disappointing that, that I, in our country that our elected officials cannot put uh, politics aside for a moment and think about those people. Forgive me, it pisses you off. Yes, it does. What will that money mean for you? Well, it's, for me, it would be a lifesaver right now. It gives me a couple months' rent right there. Here we go, walking into the hospital for possibly the last time we're going to find out. Earlier today, he walked into a meeting that would determine the fate of his job as an athletic trainer. Quick update on how the meeting went. Apologize, I'm still a little nervous and shaky from it. I'm a little bit in shock still, but it went as expected. So, there you have it. 17 years in a box. Just a few months ago, he took on a second job as a substitute teacher. That job now gone as well. You have twin boys? Yes, with autism, yes. How are they doing? How are you? Have you told them yet? Uh, no, I have not. They're trying to still wrap their minds around school not being in session. Okay, on to the next step for me, which is to um, file for unemployment in the state of With Kansas. only about two months of savings to keep him going. Smiley is now filing for unemployment as he figures out his next source of income. I, as a healthcare professional, I am all for the uh, the uh, measures of, of social distancing, uh, but I got a kind of slap in the face today of the consequences of that. Tonight, like so many across America, Danny Smiley feels under attack by a virus of many names: fear, uncertainty, COVID-19. But for now, his vaccine of choice: courage. So I'm having to kind of to sacrifice, and I'm willing to sacrifice my my uh, my job and my benefits if it's for the good of the people. I mean, hopefully something will, good will come of it. That's a courageous thing to say. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I hope it. I hope it was worth it. I will hopefully find another job, but you can't replace family members and loved ones. Humans can't be replaced. Jobs can at some point. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.